as you can clearly see we are getting near because this is what we call modern art I wonder how, the, how long this art is going to be modern or is modern not going to be modern anymore Today's episode how do you do in top of us? In today's episode, I've just finished writing a thing about a show I saw with Meme Linian, the mime, sort of the school of mime. I don't know, I liked it. The ending was sort of, yeah, the ending of, oh, I've, 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 I've been talking about this before, so you might have heard it before, but the ending of the first act I did not like, and the second act was good, but I sort of, I needed some sort of narrative, because there were situations, but nothing to really take away. Yeah. And what else? Oh, today I'm going to the Modern Museum to see an exhibition with my friend Ulf. He's not in the exhibition. He hasn't done the exhibition. I'm going there with him. So this is the show I'm going to see tonight. This evening. Not tonight. This evening. I'm going to see this. Gilbert and George or Gilbert and George and Gilbert on Gorge. So, people, turns out my friend, oh, I'm in, I'm in the shadow. I'm not used to that. Uh, turns out my friend Ulf misunderstood the whole thing. When I said the modern museum, he heard the photographic museum. Whatever you call that in English. The museum of photogra photographic art. I don't know. And that's open till 10. The modern museum is open till 8 today. So, I'm going by myself. Come with me. To the Modern Museum in Stockholm, Sweden, where I will look at art. Art, people. I'm not really in the mood to go out because it's cold outside and I have sort of all my winter coats are in the storage. I'm not going to bring them up again. So I'm going to be layering, layering. I'm going to, I've, I've got an undershirt and then a shirt and then I'm going to have a sweatshirt and a cardigan and then a jacket. So, and something on my head, and mittens, or gloves, something, I don't know. Je compa popular. People, I'm off. I'm off into the world of art, and I don't know anything about these two artists, except that they sort of create art together for the last about 50 years or so. They also might be gay. Yes. So look at that machine, it's digging up a root or a tree stump. It looks really dangerous and it's powered by remote control. So to get to the Modern Museum of Art here in Stockholm, I have to go through the city centre. I hope you hear this. There's a slight breeze like an earthquake is a slight tremor. Anyway, uh, I had to go into the city centre and almost pass it and then go to the left, which is to the east, to a small island called Schepsholmen, which is, translates to the ship's island because they used to build ships there because everything in Stockholm used to evolve around ships. Have you heard about the Vasa ship? Right now I'm basically in the Old Town, which is one of the smallest, I think, islands in Stockholm. And to my left, I can't change this one right now, is Krebsholmen, where we're going. I'm going to show you now. So, that island over there is Krebsholmen. Oh, so that's the Royal Opera. Some of you have accompanied me to the Royal Opera. And that thing over there is Kungsträdgården, and some of you have joined me there. And over there is the National Museum, and some of you have been with me to, with me to that as well. So now we are here, that's the Royal Castle, that's the Old Town. This is the National Museum, I really hope you can hear this. And here's the bridge. So here we are, going over the bridge. As you can see, the bridge is not as beautiful when you see it when you're on the bridge. But if you're standing on shore looking at it, looks better as you can clearly see we are getting near because this is what we call modern art 
I wonder how, the, how long this art is going to be modern. Or is modern not going to be modern anymore? Je ne comprends pas. And here we go. This is the museum. Well, mostly it's situated behind this house. Oh God, just went out this hill, up this hill. I've got great legs. They're not so strong though. So I think it's time for lunch, so I'm gonna start with that. And here's the main attraction, the restaurant. It's got a great view, oh look. So how about this view? Oh, you can't see anything, it's too bright. Let's see. So that's the Nordic Museum over there. And that sort of mainland is called Östermalm. It's quite posh, it's the poshest area in Stockholm. So, look at this loveliness. So I had this vegan pad thai and that soup. It's a Thai soup as well. And then I sort of splurge on some, some other things. So look at this loveliness. Look at that view. I think, oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Absolute corner. So remember before when I told you about the Vasa ship, which was, I think, was built in the 16th century? No, wait. Yes, no, 15th century, I think. I'm not quite sure about this. Well, no, wait, it was built. And then on its maiden voyage, it sank after about, I don't know, 200 meters or something. And then many, many years later, they dug it up. So almost intact, not not intact, but with lots and lots of interesting things. This is very informative, isn't it? These are all my speculations. But anyway, that's the height. That's in there. They have the ship. Let's do this. So I put my things in the locker. It's free, and now what shall we do? So I got one of those. It means I paid. So let's see what they have been up to since I never saw them before. So I'm about done here. I'm gonna get on my bike and go home. Once again, the light is red when I'm getting off the island, so I thought I might give you a look of the old city. And of course the castle. So remember that route from this morning? It's gone. This one is gone as well. It's going to be great getting out. I'm hungry. I'm not. I need tea. I need tea. Desperately. Tea. People, I bought something that might be not valuable, maybe, but sort of people might want, may, may want it. Who is it? You say? Why? It's Annie or Aina, as you say if you look at her in reverse. I found an Annie doll, and I think it's old. I'm not sure. The sun come out tomorrow. Okay, so I'm quite pleased. I bought this for 20 Swedish crowns, which is about two dollars or two pounds, and it goes for about 250 Swedish crowns, so 25 dollars or 25 pounds. About I think this is in great shape, so I'm gonna keep it. Hello. Anyway, I bought her because of the orange hair that will go with what his face is and with this Dala horse as well. So that's the trio 